Hello everybody, Seek and Destroy here. Today we're going to take a look at Star Drive. Those of you that don't know about Star Drive, it's kind of a sci-fi RTS type thing. I would classify it like um, Sins of a Solar Empire and Homeworlds kind of meshed together. Um, don't know how else to put it. You all are just going to have to see for yourselves. Okay, so starting out, we're going to play as the humans, I guess. We have different people we can start out with, but... I'm gonna do the United Federation, kind of a tricky type thing. Under here we can pick positive and negative traits and they subtract and add. So say I want to be gluttonous, which means I consume more food, but fertile, which means I get more population per turn. So you can do stuff like that. I'm not actually gonna mess with it, but I will kind of show you guys what it looks like. Because like the starting traits are kind of good. Strange tradition, naval tradition. So we can actually add shipbuilding costs, like lower them. Pack mentality. Oh, 5% bonus to damage and up to 50% each nearby friendly shot. Oh, that's always nice, but no. We can go ahead and get started. So starting out, start out of course at Earth, and we'll have to colonize a system, and then we'll kind of spread out and colonize more stuff. Uh, last time I did this, I ended up losing because I spent too much money, so I'm actually going to do what I can to avoid that. And I'll kind of, as soon as I get in here, I'll show you guys everything that um, that's involved at least heads-up display and all that, and kind of the way everything's laid out. Okay, so here we are, Earth. We start out with a flagship. That was one of our things we got to do. So, you need to orbit the Earth. And we'll start here. Okay, so click on our colony, or which is Earth, and kind of shows everything, food we're getting, the supplies. Getting positive 2.9 in, uh, money right now. Ships, they cost, uh, they have a certain maintenance cost, so we will have to be mindful of that as we go. Maintenance cost is in gold, I guess, so it'll slowly decrease, and we don't want that. Like I said, did real bad last time. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is start off, um, start off getting these colonized. You colonize? You colonize and you colonize. Mercury, Venus, and Mars. So, <clears throat> that being said, we're going to start off up here. Science. Sins of Solar Empire, right? Exactly what I thought. But, it's a lot more interactive, it's a lot bigger. Stuff seems to go a lot faster. So, colonizing, we want. Aeroponics and Biosphere. We're going to do these first because I want the Biosphere so I can get more people on some of these sparsely populated planets. I also want a Corvette Hall and a Shipyard. And then from there we'll kind of work our way through. Uh, what would be the last one we could use? We don't want missiles necessarily. I want energy. Energy weapons. And shields. Energy shields. Maybe we should go with shields first. I don't really like the energy weapons though. Let's do energy weapons. Do a shields later. So starting out, um, we can actually manually build the ships over here, but like this colony ship is building on its own simply because we've clicked the button to colonize. Venus has been colonized, and since they're not going to have anything to do food, we're actually going to import food and export materials. And since we colonized, we went up to 3.3. We actually have troops as well, which we can land different places. So two more to colonize. Mm. Yeah, usually you can like highlight over it and just do it and we'll zoom in. So okay, there we go. 
building, we can only, our population can only go up to 0.3. So that's going to take just a little bit of time. And uh, before you guys ask, cannot build a spaceport because it's uninhabitable land. Only build on, uh, only build on these. So we're pretty much just going to put a bunch of bays, or aeroponics bays, a bunch of biospheres over everything. So Mercury just got colonized. Total point four. Once they grow, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to mess with uh, everything else. We don't want any science. We don't want anything else. We just want building stuff. We will actually do ships, freighter. There we go. So we got three small transports, and we'll actually what they'll do is they'll send over food and stuff like that to these guys. <clears throat> Mars, we're looking at getting colonized right now. Should have a ship coming out. There he is. He's all about getting over there, isn't he? Before you guys ask, Uranus can't colonize on a not habitable by us, Jupiter, and Saturn, same thing. You've been colonized. I'm gonna take all your resources. And we are gonna send food over to you. Export so import. We're gonna export the food. We are making 1.4 extra, so that should be enough to take care of everybody. We're gonna ship transport colonists. High populated worlds to your low populated world. And now we'll do that. We'll send one of our one of our small colony ships, small transport ships, whatever, to do that. So uh, we really need a small transport ship. Another one. Okay. Uh, so this is your monetary stuff, all that. Twenty five percent tax rate is what we're at. We're gaining two point eight per. Not a big deal. Shipyard. In here We'll have different things, shuttles, uh, freighters, platforms, all that. As we unlock stuff, we'll be able to do more. But as you go, you can actually build more stuff. Uh, this is a scatter turret. Should be able to fit on here. I've never, for some reason, I've never been able to. We can do the flak ones pretty easy. See, so I can literally put on two flaks. And it's based off of these right here. The, the little O's underneath match up with that. I guess it's outer. Something like that is what it stands for. We can do fuel cells. We can do engines. We'll do engines real quick. So two warp, two regular, and power plant. We can do a um, medium one, and power conduit. There we go. So we power conduit actually helps to power the rest of the systems. Go to armor, and add two armor to it, and specs. So we can do cargo and storage, stuff like that, on here. Or ordnance, which uh, I like to do sometime, but actually we're not going to do it today. It needs a cockpit or it can't fly, and they can even keep a colonization module on them. So that right there is our basic build. And actually change which way the turrets fire, stuff like that. These are actually stuck, because they're only forward facing. So, yeah, that's how you do it. You'd save it and whatever. I actually made a uh, ship that already looks like this. But I, I think it's a nice little thing. Uh, under Empire View, shows all your um, shows all your ships and stuff. Our ships, all your um, all your planets and stuff like that. What you can do with them and, and everything. Right now we have no food. They need to get food going to them. <laughs> Everything else, that's probably the first thing we need. Make sure that they don't starve themselves out. So, not bad. What is this? Capital City. Spaceport. As soon as we get some of these stuffs, some of the stuff built up, we'll be able to do that. And uh, we need to start building more, more things. We'll start off by building uh, a couple of freighters. I actually made a uh, small freighter, called it a caustic freighter. It was the one I actually showed you guys. I'll go ahead and build five. 
we'll see how that affects our affects our money. So they're producing pretty good wealth. They're not very high up there. I think what I am gonna do is one arm scout, go explore. It's our big capital ship. That is our small transport. Transport people. So he will actually grab people and send them over to other places. You need to do food and stuff like that. And you need to do food and stuff like that. So what it'll help do is spread out our people a little bit so that they'll go to other colonies and everything else. Yeah, see, no matter what we do, until we get like an airbonics bay, we're kind of shut out of luck. Oh, hey, we can actually colonize that outright. Doesn't seem to be any hostile forces over here, which usually there are. Is this habitable? Cool. So we don't even have to do anything. Just let our guys scout around and start building up our colonies. So, what's going on here? Is they're just shooting back and forth. Doing that. How many, uh, how much food did you guys get? Okay, so they're full on food now. And they'll continually kind of resupply them. They got enough food now. What about you guys? You got enough food. So you're importing food, exporting other stuff. <coughs> so this is looking pretty good. We'll be alright. We got 1.4, they're only eating like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So now with all our all our freight or all our freighters, stuff like that. Chief three on Two, three. Two, three. Alright, yeah. Not you guys. You guys don't count. There we go. You guys can go out to whatever this is. Uranus. I'll actually do that so I can separate out my fighting ships from my other ships. You can tell that having them, they have a significant impact to our economic status and all that. And that can cause problems later on. I did, um, did a Let's Play earlier, and halfway through, what ended up happening is I was sitting here doing my thing, and looked, and my thing was down to, like, negative eight. Because I started building, like, Corvettes and stuff like that. And it just, you know, it got completely destroyed. Like, the game. Like, I literally lost half my planets and stuff like that. So, bad times. Small transport. Small transport. What are you guys doing? I'm just waiting. What's this? Massive hyperspace flux. Warp travel through the galaxy. Well, that sucks. So, can't use hyperspace. Like, the little, I don't want to call them FTL drives, but you know what I mean. The little speedy, whatever, warp drives. Hmm. So I'm at 1.1, doing colony ships right now. So that's always good. We're just slowly working our way through. Got, how many I got of these? Four? Should I have five? The last guy going? What are you? Oh, that's right, because of that hyperspace flux. He's got to, like, slowly travel. So it's going to be a little while before I can do anything else. That really sucks. So hopefully this goes away here pretty soon, next couple of turns. Colony ship. So that's one of them. Luckily it just builds them as we go. And go colonize. Let's check on some of our places. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 
1.16 revenue. Oh, yay. We really need more revenue. So we need to kind of do more. And it's going to take forever. Everything's going to kind of build up on us right now. Just based on, um, based on the way things are going. <laughs> So they're picking up production to move over here. We are <coughs> losing money. It's alright to run in a little bit of a deficit, I guess, but not much because we'll end up just being up a creek if we don't expand and grow. Glory. Oh, aeroponics unlocked. Aeroponics farm? Now, for this right here, they can't actually do aeroponics or a spaceport, because this is all uninhabitable. Uh, once we do terraforming and stuff like that, we can mess with it. For right now, you can do an aeroponics farm. And you have plenty of stuff to build it, too. Our hyperspace flux is finally gone. Good. Yeah, there we go. Alright, E5. Let's go explore some of the galaxy. So, this is a big view of the galaxy. Pretty massive. Uh, not homeworld's massive, but, you know. Not like the huge map, but good nonetheless. So, U5 are going to be designated as my first fleet. You can come over here. As soon as I start colonizing a little more, getting stuff going. Yeah. 0 0.02 is all they're making. Population is low. And as soon as we start getting those biospheres, we'll actually be able to do a little more. Because right now we're kind of on the very edge of running a deficit. So I love it. I'm going to play Politician too, and everything else, which you guys will see. I don't have to worry about the budget. It's like playing a president. Except for if it's this president, we don't have to be running a deficit all the time. So, what are you doing? Colony ship. You going to go colonize? So, you just colonize. There you go. 0 0.03 being made. Need to import, need to import that, export that. So we got our five ships over here, just hanging out. Make sure this is getting colonized. This is colonized. We'll see how this looks once we get it in there. So nice. So we actually have stuff that uh, we actually have small little habitable areas. Uh, negative 0.5, spaceport is negative 1. So I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, one the world. It's an away team ground troops to investigate. Um, well, I can build a ship and send ground troops over there eventually. Because I would like to know what's in that too. Hey look, we jumped up to 0.7. Not <clears throat> entirely sure. Let's go into shipyard. Freighter. Let's load a freighter. It's a construction, that's an auto scout. What about a small transport? Let's load this up so we can see what it has. Cockpit with no power in that. Cargo hold. I'm not sure if that'll actually work or not. Let's double check. Specs. Storage. Ordnance. Cargo. I'm guessing it will. We'll go ahead and see. Small transport. 
maybe. Build troops. Let's see here. So they're just scouts. Strength 10, all that. I've yet to figure out how to transport troops, so I guess now's as good a time as any. Build these guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to try to figure this out real quick before we move on. So, hey guys, I figured it out. You literally have to go in and uh, click on your starport where they're at and send them into space. So, there we go. Space Marines. I think you guys can uh, run over there. Maybe. Yeah. They're just hauling ass, aren't they? Send them right here. See if we can just land them real quick. Not that just nifty? Got our own special little troop ships. Now how do we land? That's going to be the fun thing. <clears throat> do we land? We land. And take off again? That's not what I wanted. Get over there. Okay, I guess the next question should be how to move troops. <clears throat> Found a mysterious tomb, long dead civilization, complex, uh, well preserved. Mercurius Bank on the site seems to have been targeted earlier. Large collection tradition, second alien race, very likely. Starfang based, no evidence found. Wealth of information, sitting here will pay dividends or sorry, years to come. Three bonus to all science efforts and discoveries. Research granted three bonus. Nice. You guys take off. Maybe you guys want to go back home. Yeah, send you back to Earth. There you go. So, still at point seven. Let me check and see if my guys have maxed out. Mm hmm. Still can't build anything over here. The spaceport's not that. Let's check and see how long it's going to be. 225 more turns for a biosphere. Ouch. At point eight, I am going to go ahead and build a couple more. Maybe another three. Hmm. Now what I've been doing is I've been naming these like um, just different types of things. This is my caustic cruiser. I don't know why. It just sounded good. So, what I want to do is actually, if you guys want, um, when I start building these, I want names. I want some names that I can use that sound, like, very, very nice, very cool. So, yeah, you guys tell me what you, uh, think would be good names for them in the, uh, comments below. And I'll actually, uh, pick the good ones and put them up. Definitely, uh, I gotta work for everybody if we can do that. Ooh, gotta take care of these guys. Importing food, exporting that. 
just the way I like it. You guys can build, uh, well, build nothing. Oh, 50% tax revenues. What are we at on? 0.2, 0.4. Yeah, we'll do that. It's gonna cost money once it's done. But we can build ships here and uh, get more tax revenue. So that's not bad. And just, like I said, gotta keep an eye on this up here because if not, we start draining money and I don't want to hemorrhage money and have a bunch of rebel troops trying to take me out. Small freighter. Where'd she go? Hang on over here. Why don't you go? Hang on over here. Here, there's a party over there. Party over here! Go any ships while transport. What are you? You're already going. You're doing your own thing. You should be orbiting. Hang out. So, what we got going on? Oh! So, here we go. We are Volfar. Your armor looks thin. Discuss. Tell us about your people. We should know about the Volfar. Grr. We are warriors from. Warriors of the. Purest blood, pack is all. If you do not fear us, you should gaze in fear upon our mighty ships. We are werewolves. Hmm. That's always fun. Small transports just running around, PFing. Get another freighter. Get over there. So, and that's this, uh, Volfar guy. Seems a little angry for no reason. Alrighty, so, everything kind of said and done. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and end it here kind of even on money and everything else. I think in the next episode we are definitely going to try to um, try to kind of push into some other sectors and colonize a little more. There are a bunch of little areas around here. This is theirs, so we'll actually push up into here, try to check out this area. Maybe sneak around see, like there's a little star all the way out here. I might try to colonize. But we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, well, as always, this is Seek and Destroy. I appreciate you guys watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy this first episode of, um, wow, Star Drive. Heard my brain go. Alright guys, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.